Okay, Brian, as so you're talking about, wish they showed something about the chief issue. I was thinking about this. I was cutting the neighbor's grass this weekend, and I was thinking about this because I was like, we're going to be seeing the, seeing the season finale soon for the season of America's List. And I just still think it's so crazy that we, we didn't see a single thing, like nothing. And I was thinking about that because I was potentially thinking about trying to ask Chief to do another interview video. And if I could, should maybe, at, if we do do it, if I should ask him those kind of questions about the America's List ordeal. Because the time for us to find out about it has passed. If we were going to find out about it on like actual TV, it would have been at the start of this season months ago. And it's weird because normally like this stuff takes place. Then the show doesn't air for months later. And then normally like you find out about it while the show is airing, the whole drama unfolds. But the situation with the, the chief situation was that it happened at the start of the filming and there wasn't much word about it. Like, I think I was one of the only ones making videos that I know I had reliable information. I know that people that were giving me information were there at the actual race itself. So I knew that I had good information in regards to what had happened. But there wasn't a whole lot out there. I was like, okay, we'll find out what happened once the show's air on, on TV. And the thing is, the show aired on TV, I said... I said that weird. We would find out once the show airs on TV what exactly happened. Then about a month and a half later, I think it was, the show aired on TV, and there was just nothing. And we haven't heard anything since. Since then, obviously, Chief and Jackie have gone to the all, all YouTube and Patreon and social media and stuff. They're not doing the Street Outlaws TV stuff anymore. But just the fact that we didn't get a set-in-stone answer. My assumption is... Chief attempted to get rid of Chase's race, and a lot of people got very upset at that, and as a result, he left. And the thing is, too, like, if that is what happened, like, Chief isn't the kind of person that's going to go out and say, this is what I wanted to do. Everyone look at this. This is what I wanted to do, and this is why they I ended up leaving. He's not the kind of person to, like, publicly go out and say that and do that. But the thing is, if it became like common knowledge in the street outlaws or street outlaw community fan base, whatever you want to say that the reason why chief left is because he wanted to get rid of chase and is a race. He would be revered as a God amongst street outlaw fans, because I have seen so many people say, get rid of chase is a race every single time. I haven't seen people say, I love this show. It's so good. It's super fun to watch. Although I hate chase is a race. Like I, people can't avoid saying that like it's, everywhere everyone always says they hate the chases race stuff and the thing is he attempted to get rid of that because the fans didn't want to see that and it, again we don't know if that is true i do not know if that is true we assume it's true because every shout out Avid barber again i remember we were talking back and forth with you during this stream and it, we like you could go back to one of the streams when we figured this out and i think i made it as a clipper stream highlight as well like in real time on this stream things were just clicking and we figured out like okay it's got to be that he tried to get rid of chase's race and as a result of that people got mad and upset and he made the decision to leave the show because it was too far away from what he thought was real street racing and the thing is if that information became public and got out like even the chief haters would become fans as a result of that. And like, I mean, the thing is too, like if they're done with street outlaws and they're never, never going back, I don't see why he wouldn't say that because if he like, if that information got out there, maybe, I, maybe that's my job. I mean, maybe I'm the one that's supposed to deliver that information to the public. So many people would probably be like, wait, so you're telling me the reason why this guy left. I wasn't a fan of chief before I was never this and that he was just there. I was kind of cool with him. But he tried to make the biggest change I want to see in the show. They got mad at him and he left because of that. Then those people that were kind of on the edge or in the middle and even probably disliked him before will probably become fans of him now. And it'll just only help their YouTube stuff grow even more. So it's just like, I mean, just the fact that that information isn't public. It, we don't we do not know yet. It's just crazy to think about. And I wonder if we will ever find out about what exactly happened. Mike D, that is another big reason as well. The He, he was upset that the 405 couldn't bring other guys, but Memphis were able to bring their whole crew. You're exactly right about that. And the thing is, too, a lot of people say, like, he's he was against the 405, this and that. But I'm, like, the him leaving because of the chase is a race, we don't know for a fact. We do know for a fact that one of the reasons why he left was because he was very upset that the 405 weren't able to bring more guys there. And I mean, like, 
I don't want to, I don't want to try and sound like I'm talking bad on the four or five for this, but I'm trying to talk on chief. Like the, if we're in an argument right now, I'm on this side of chief and this normally I try to stay in the middle, but I'm saying I'm on the side of him for, for this little bit right here. And the fact that he stood up and tried to make a change and tried to actually do something about the four or five, not be able to bring extra guys there when other groups, I mean, again, no, I don't mean to take shots at Memphis, but they're just the example in this instance. It probably wasn't, he was upset specifically at Memphis, the rules overall, it's not their fault. They were just doing what they were probably told to do. It was the people that told them Memphis that they were able to do that is you could, I guess maybe say is at fault there again. I don't know how all of that works though. In the end, again, it's the TV show. Who knows who's the one telling them? Yeah, JJ, you can bring all these guys Then the four or five you're left bringing only these guys. None of the other four or fives you got four or five guys you saw upset about that. They're not saying, Hey, Dominic should be here. Doc should be here. Uh, anyone else in the four or five that didn't make it should be there you don't see them like going to bat for those guys and chief he did it but the thing is no one even knows he did and people say he's not team four or five this and that he hates the four or five and the thing is they don't even know that he was the one that went to bat for those guys like again like if the if just simply if that information became public i feel like the people that don't like him now or in the mill now would have a completely different change of their opinion after finding out what really happened. And again, just the fact that we don't know what really happened is so crazy to me. 